surprising nobody, this product sold out in 35 minutes, just a little bit over half an hour. So you could have queued up multiple times though, because there actually was, they did a pretty good job with whatever server they were using. This was not a repeat of the disastrous Mythic Planeswalker edition where Rudy Chan tried to bot them and they banned his bots. You could have bought them. You had half an hour to buy them and check out. And to my understanding was that this was a very successful product for Wizard of the Coast financially. Now, we don't actually know how much was sold. Uh, it is true that it could have been a very small amount. But my my guess is it's a lot larger. And the reason I know this is because I'm in Facebook groups with store owners. People have always thought of this product as a individual product. You know, Hold the Line was not really for stores. It was for individuals. And that was my main takeaway was if Card Kingdom channel fiable now tcg player now ebay if they don't hold the line they can buy thousands to tens of thousands of these boxes instantaneously and you're like oh they only let me to you to five then you go back to queue uh that's not how it works with these organizations just like rudy chan gets special treatment these organizations should they ask they will get special treatment including of course amazon would it shock me if Amazon was one of the bigger buyers of this product? No. To just throw it on Amazon Prime and you know, see where it goes. It would not shock me at all if Amazon Prime would have these up eventually. As soon as they get delivery of them around Christmas time, Amazon Prime they need to make some cheddar. Yeah. So when everyone was so focused on the customers, the actual Magic players... I know that has absolutely no effect as to the bottom line because the stores can buy more, 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 more. Now, you might say, oh, well, what if the customers don't buy from the store? Okay, so according to Rudy Chan, what they would do is they would hold the boxes and they would just skyrocket in price <laughs> later on. <laughs> and then eventually somebody will buy it. So, like, you have to understand, if you're Amazon, you are a trillion-dollar company, what is a million dollars to you? <laughs> it's nothing. It's nothing. It is a rounding error in your taxes that you don't pay. So, I don't know. I think this item served its purpose. It's a tax deductible write off that they can give to promotion, promotion like Sp Hunter Pence, like uh, Ruxin, like uh, Lean Hard. They can go ahead and take this, and somebody, somebody, somebody will take it. People have promoted far worse. FTX, BlockFi, I'm talking about Andre Janke, Graham Stefan, Spencer Cornelia. Established titles. Let me tell you about established titles in case you guys don't know. A lot of your favorite YouTubers, including Roxanne 34 who are, I'd already apologized for this. Established titles is supposedly going to give you a title from Scotland because they own a piece of land. And then they're going to plant a tree for you. You pay $50 for a PDF or your fake title. If you want them to print it from a printer, it costs $30 on top of the $50. So it costs $80 if you want a piece of paper. And if you want a, board, a frame, it costs $59. Yeah, that's where we are. And every single YouTuber is promoting it. We have some pretty big YouTubers promoting established titles to their subscribers. And yet no one has... a or I guess very few people have a problem with that, even though it's a company that is located in Hong Kong on a parking lot. Let me repeat this again. None of that is real. They're not in Scotland. There's no evidence that they've ever planted a tree. And there's no evidence they've ever <laughs> anyone's actually been to Scotland. It is a company incorporated in Hong Kong where FTX Caroline or Amida Research Caroline is currently hiding with no... Ex Remember when Batman... When a Lao individual from the mafia, he was trying to run away somewhere. What? Where did he run away to? He ran away to Hong Kong. And a Batman had to come and get him in the second Batman movie. Yeah, it's because Hong Kong has basically, you know, you have laws, which we'll talk about proxies in a little later. And then you have enforcement of the laws. So there's two things that you have to worry about. A, am I breaking the law? But B, if I'm in a country like Bali 
what Voyager is. Uh, if I'm in a country like Abu Dhabi or the Bahamas, where the laws are a lot more flexible if I have money than our Congo, right? Then am I really breaking the law? Or, you know, how are you going to enforce it? I can just bribe my way to the top. So anyway, not to... This item was always going to sell out. It was always going to be the big stores that bought it. And it will always be the customers who buy from the big stores. The secret layers are exactly the same thing. So stores buy these secret layers direct from Wizard of the Coast. Sometimes they can sell them, sometimes they can't. And if they can't sell them, they just give them to Rudy Chan for a penny on the dollar. But that doesn't mean they didn't try. Right? Where did Rudy Chan get all his pallets of secret layers? I think he had like three to eight pallets of the... I, I totally forgot what those lands are. They, they double-sided lands. And he's got boxes and boxes of them. Well, it's because a store purchased it from Wizard of the Coast directly. And they over-purchased. Or a distributor purchased from it. So when you talk about the individual stores purchasing, and then you talk about a whole distributor purchasing, yeah, this item was going to sell out. Uh, if you hold the line and you're just one Timmy, great, you didn't buy one. If Card Kingdom held the line, that would be probably a PO of half a million dollars, if not more. Nobody talked about, you know, <laughs> the, the stores. No one talked about it. You do know most of your stores, including your local game store, when they think that there's a good secret layer, they actually buy the secret layer, they hold on to it, and then try to sell it with a premium when the market hopefully goes up. That's what every single game store has been doing with secret layers. If you think your player base likes one, even though the players could, then, could theoretically buy it themselves, Maybe they don't have, they don't want to wait. You know, that's the, the whole idea of having a retail store is the customer does not want to wait. They're going to pay a premium not to wait. Then Amazon Prime came along. So anyway, my point is, yeah, this thingamajig sold out in 35 minutes exact. Everyone hoping it failed. I guess you didn't hold a line. Because there was no line to hold, you idiots. A card kingdom can buy more than every single whiny YouTuber in existence. It simply can't. So if you wanted to hold the line, if you actually wanted this product to fail, you would tell card kingdom this. 